Hello everyone. I hope you all had a great Marathi paper and I'm sure you all are going to score great marks. So, today's session is very important for the English paper. Today, we have Mr. Akhil Bhosle, principal and teacher at Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Memorial High School, Mumbai. He has a teaching experience of more than 30 years. He has mentored thousands of students and he has corrected thousands of papers. So this session is very, very, very important to you. Let us quickly jump on to the session. Hello friends. You are going to appear for a very important examination of your life. First of all, I, Mr. Akhil Bosley, would like to congratulate you for appearing this very important examination. I know you have been preparing very well, but today I am going to give you some tips so that you can prepare yourself and face the examination very confidently. First thing, we should know which area to be focused on to get good marks. Question number one, language study, which is for 10 marks. Question number two, textual passages, which are for 20 marks. Question number three, activities based on poetry are for 10 marks. And question number four, non-textual passages, only for 10 marks. This is the area where you can get good marks and so it is to be concentrated, all the activities to be done very sincerely, try to understand the nature of each and every activity and present your answer as per the expectation of SSC board. Then only you will be able to get good marks in this area. This is the area which is called scoring. So presentation of the answer according to the nature of the activity is very important. For example, activity 1 which is so called simple activity in which you will have to prepare, uh, present your answer in one or two words. Just change the nature of the activity and present the answer. For example, if it is only true or false, right or wrong, answer it in only one word. If it is fill in the blanks, complete the following sentences, complete the sentence and underline it so that you can get the marks reserved for it. Uh, activity number two, which is complex factual, sometimes the answer would be in four words, whereas sometimes the answer would be in four lines. But don't write the answer as it is from the given passage. You should change certain things and present your answer. That is very important. Third activity is based on vocabulary and it is totally based on the passage given to you. So try to read the passage, try to un understand the meaning of the words given in context. So for that, you can prepare the words from the margin scaffolding activities. Try to memorize the words from every lesson so that you won't find any difficulty in uh, activity number three which is based on vocabulary. Activity four which is based on grammar, you are going to prepare the grammar right from the stand stand standard six. You have whatever the grammar you have been studying from standard six is very important. So concentrate on that and do your best. Activity five which is called personal response, it requires a lot of efforts, it requires a lot of practice. And if you have that practice, you can do that, uh, do the uh, activity very well. So practice it and do your, uh, do your, write your answer very well. Um, third question, which is based on poetry. It is also the area where you can uh, get good marks. So try to understand the nature of activity here also, especially activity third, which is based on um, figures of speech, rhyming scheme and rhyming word. Try to understand the different figures of speech so that you can get one mark which is reserved for it. Secondly, the appreciation of poem is quite easy. This is the area where you can get 5 out of 5 marks. Um, whatever the points given to you, try to keep it in mind and write your appreciation in 
paragraph format. Don't forget to give the title to your appreciation. Just memorize uh, the central idea of each and every poem so that you can write the appreciation of the poem easily. Uh, second area uh, that is the area where you want to concentrate or we can say the area where we need to concentrate at the last or at the 11th hour where we fall short especially this area is in language study activity number 3 it is challenging activity all of you know that the whole activity sheet is divided into 3 difficulty level some activities are very simple some activities are medium level and some activities are challenging so whatever the challenging activities are there it needs a lot of practice so activity number 3 in language study uh, is quite difficult if you concentrate on it try to understand what kind of activities are there you can easily get good marks of that activity also so especially chair direct indirect speech change the voice change the degree then use one word as a noun and as a verb and use two words in a single sentence these are the activities so called challenge challenging activity if you concentrate on it you can get good marks so language study is the area where you can get 10 out of 10 marks and you should concentrate on it and don't forget that you should not lose any mark in language study. Second area that is to be concentrated is the personal response. The personal response is there in textual passages and not textual passage. It is for two mark where you need to write your own answer. Answer from the given passage is not at all accepted whereas it is the answer, it is your personal response which is to be written in 5 to 6 sentences. So try to understand the activity given to you, try to understand the question given to you and present your answer as per the activity and it should be in 5 to 6 sentences not lines. Okay, if uh, beforehand if you prepare this activity if you try your level best to take out two three questions on each and every lesson you can get some practice of uh, solving this activity so do that also the next area which is to be concentrated uh, is the summary writing we know that question number four is non-textual passage and on non-textual passage you will have to write summary Summary writing is quite difficult. What exactly do you want to do? Whenever you read the passage, try to underline the important points from that respective passage. Once you underline the passage, once you comprehend the passage very well, once you understand the passage very well, you can write the summary of it. So what is summary exactly? Summary is the central idea of the given passage which is written in your own words. Okay, so while writing summary, first thing you are going to do is that you are going to uh, give a suitable title to your summary. Secondly, you are going to write the summary in your own words. You can use some words from the given passage, but you are not going, going to use the lines as it is from the given passage passage and it is to be written in your own sentences own words it should be precise it should be short but all important aspects all important points to be covered in the summary while writing summary you can use some grammatical structures and uh, you can give or you can begin and end your summary appropriately that is very important uh, just keep it in mind that summary should not be more than the given passages. It is the sh short pre precise writing of the given passage, so it should be short and sweet. The next area where you want to concentrate is question number 6b, that is drafting a speech, 
and writing view and counter view. Especially drafting a speech is quite easy area. If you are going to write drafting a speech, that is very easy because you have been doing or you have been participating in number of competitions and you know how to draft the speech, how to begin it, how to write the body of it and how to conclude it. But the option to this question is view and counter view. It is quite difficult. View and counter view uh, is not that much elaborative where you will be given either view or counter view. Based on the given view or based on the given counter view, you will have to write either view or counter view. It should be short, it should be sweet and all the points to be covered in that view and counter view. And it is your own opinion that you are going to write in this area. So proper beginning, proper end is very important. You are not allowed to write uh, extra things which are not included in that view or counter view in the activity sheet. So I feel the better option is adopting a speech. So go for that. Don't go for view and counter view. The last area which is so called challenging that is creative writing that is question number 7a and b. It needs a lot of practice. I, earlier I told you that the whole activity sheet is divided into three difficulty levels. First is easy, second is medium level and third is challenging. So creative writing is totally challenging but it doesn't mean that you can't do this. If you have good practice, if you have good imagination power, if you have a skill of expression, definitely you can do that. So what exactly you are going to do in uh, creative writing? In creative writing, first of all, we have expand the theme. Expand the theme is based on the proverb, maxim or quotation. A proverb, maxim or quotation will be given to you. You will have to write the expansion, the elaboration of that proverb, maxim or quotation. Most of the time, uh, the expansion is based on uh, one's life, one's success and so you can prepare that kind of expansion. Uh, you can memorize some expansion beforehand also like, like uh, cut your cut according to your cloth. Uh, then um, you can prepare uh, some, uh, some quotations which are related to success. Okay, so it is up to you how to prepare it. Second thing, uh, option to this question is report writing. Report writing is quite difficult uh, because it is to be written very precisely and sticking to the point. A news headline would be given to you and based on that news headline, you are going to write the report. So report should be uh, short and sweet and it is to be written with the points. First thing is title. Title is the given headline that is to be given to your writer. Then byline, deadline and byline. Uh, where that incident had taken place, you are going to begin with that. The name of the city, date of the incident and by whom that report is given. Okay, then you are going to elaborate with the three WH how, when and where or when, where and how if you use this three WH you, you can write your report easily one more thing is that report, report should be written in past tense especially it is written in passive construction and there is no need to write extra things additional material in the report writing. So it should be very precise, it should be short so that people can read it and it should be elaborated point to point. That's it. Uh, but compared to ex, uh, expansion based on proverb, maxim and quotation, report writing is little bit difficult. So better you go for uh, expand a theme based on proverb, maxim or quotation. The last point which is uh, really difficult and uh, really challenging for all of 
us because it is uh, the subject where you want to think on this spot it is based on developing a story and narrating an experience either beginning or ending will be given to you okay based on that ending or beginning you are going to think about a story you are going to narrate an experience you have got uh, in your life so on the spot you want to think about the story on the spot you want to create a character in the story on the spot you want to create a situation so it is quite difficult so beforehand if you take some beginnings if you take some endings and if you try or judge yourself definitely you can get good practice and it is rightly said that practice makes a man perfect so this is the area where a lot of practice is needed so i think in one or two days whatever the days left for the exam you can uh, prepare or concentrate on this area where we fall short where we have not uh, got that much practice that is very important okay one more thing uh, that we want to the area where we can get good marks is the appreciation of poem so concentrate on uh, on that area also where you can get high out of high marks then letter writing uh, information transfer where you can get high out of high marks first thing letter to be written in block format all the aspects of letter to be taken at the left side and the letter to be uh, written with the given subject so it is a guided letter and you are going to write in three paragraphs whatever it is whether it is letter whether it is paragraph writing whether it is report writing or whether it is narrating a story or an experience it is to be written in three paragraphs three paragraphs first very important thing is beginning it is rightly said that well begin is half done so if you begin your paragraph if you begin your story very nicely definitely that is going to uh, create impression on the examination examiner's mind so beginning is very important second point is the body so you will be given the points in your uh, activity sheet try to use that points related to that points try to use some additional points because these additional points are considered for uh, the uh, scholar students so that is to be written and last but not least that is conclusion that is very important conclude your letter conclude your write up by uh, any quotation good saying or maxim if you know okay so keep it in mind three points proper beginning body and last is proper conclusion so you are going to make three paragraphs proper beginning body and end so marks are given accordingly so do not write your write up in one single paragraph you are not going to get marks out of five okay overall uh, we have seen which area is to be concentrated which area where you fall short and where practice is needed so as far as the whole activity sheet if you plan if you have proper planning uh, proper time management you can complete your uh, whole activity sheet within within the time given so question number 1 that is language study and which is 14 marks that is to be completed in 15 minutes all activities are very easy so you can complete it in uh, 15 minutes section number 2 that is question number 2 based on textual passages which is for 20 marks if you take around 17 to 80 minutes now half an hour is excess is given to you so you can take 20 minutes so 20 plus 20 40 minutes so for textual passages you can 40 minutes uh, you can take 40 minutes within 40 minutes you can complete you should complete your uh, textual passages then third question is based on poetry comprehension and appreciation it is for 5 plus 5 10 marks and it is to be completed within 20 minutes okay i think you can because only three activities are there in appre uh, 
poetic comprehension and appreciation you know how to write it so you can complete it in uh, 20 minutes fourth question which is based on non textual passages where you can comprehend a passage easily but to write a summary of it it requires a lot of time because you have to read the passage you have to understand it you have to comprehend it properly you have to concentrate on the important points and then you have to write the summary of it so it it takes a lot of time so uh, 35 minutes are required for non textual passage and to write summary so you can take 35 minutes and even if requires you can take some two or three minutes extra also then writing skill which is question number 5 6 7 in which you are going to write either formal letter or informal letter that is one letter next one is information transfer verbal to non verbal or non verbal to verbal next is drafting a speech and view and counter you everywhere option is there and next one is um, expand the theme based on proverb maxim or quotation or news report and last is um, writing a story or narrating an experience so every or whatever it is whatever the write up is you are going to take around 15 to 18 minutes for every uh, writing skill so that you can complete your uh, whole activity sheet within 170 to 180 minutes now half an hour is excess is given to you so it is up to you how to adjust the time and how to uh, cover the paper in the given slot of time last minute revision is very important it plays very important role in your study so what exactly to be done uh, in those three days okay if you get time try to read each and every lesson and poem very carefully secondly you should concentrate more on the margin scaffolding activity which are given at the right side or left side of each and every page on which some difficult words are given some phrases are given some activities are given if you concentrate concentrate that activities definitely that activities are going to be very much helpful uh, for you next the uh, english workshop which is after the lesson just try to cover just try to concentrate on all the activities given in the english workshop it is um based on that simple factual activity complex factual activity vocabulary based on activity uh, activity based on vocabulary grammar based activity and some writing skill activity so if you concentrate on each and every lesson you are going to prepare the whole activity sheet that is very important at last practice makes the man perfect so within these two days try to solve one or two question papers so that you can get uh, the practice of non textual passage also concentrate more on writing skill so that you can gain confidence that confidence plays very important role so with that confidence if you go ahead and face this exam very caref- very carefully definitely nobody will stop you in getting good marks in english as english is a scoring subject and if you write it very well definitely you can get good marks the last but not least very important thing is that you should not change the sequence of the questions so right from the question number 1 to question number 7 you are going in the same sequence you are writing the new question or you are going to write a new question on new page try to keep the whole activity clean and tidy don't rub the answers unnecessarily it is going to create a bad impression on examiner's mind so if you go step by step the our activity sheet is from simple to difficult level so do not change the sequence go from question number 1 to question number 7 or just plan your uh, plan your time table properly and go ahead it is rightly said that exams are a test of your hard work perseverance and diligence so face it 
with confidence wish you all the best thank you thanks a lot wish you all the best thank you very much